Hi everyone, here's what happened on 7 Dillon, 16 February 2021. Marianne bumped into Kone in the Heights and said she didn't think she'll open today. She saw an article about her and she knows how it feels to be kidnapped and said she's also sorry. Kone said she's glad that the drama is over and she's fine. Andre saved her life. Eki also came and said she heard about it on the radio and she's glad she's fine. Kone said she was just telling Marianne that Andre saved her life and overpowered two men and explained how it happened and even mentioned the group leader's name Buddha. Marianne recognized his name. Connie said Andre respects women. He could have fled but he insisted to call the police. Eki said he did the right thing and Connie told them that Andre is a hero. Rika said he hopes they found the man that shoot the truck and be locked up for a long time. He also said those who escaped were also found. Connie said it's all because of Andre and told them that she knows that one good deed doesn't erase the past but it's something and said he deserves a recognition shame. Gabby and Justice were all lovey-dovey in the couch. Ketsuwa said they need to get a room. Justice left. Gabby kept on gushing over her man and said he really spoiled her for Valentine's Day. But Ketsuwa wasn't fine. Gabby asked her if it's about that day when Shady kissed Romeo. She said she's upset, but there's nothing she can do. They live with Romeo and it's her ex. Romeo joined them and he said Ketsuwa must take a shower and he will make her breakfast. Denzel was on the phone arranging furniture for his restaurant and said it's been closed for so long they need to make it snappy. Rika told Fikani about Buddha and they were at the Obukofi. Denzel came and Fikani left them. Rika asked him about the progress. He said the furniture will be in in two weeks time. Rika said it's bad for a business. Denzel told him it's his business. Vince also came and said he can see he's struggling with the furniture. The guy got pissed. Vince said he come in peace and asked him if he's interested in buying the old stuff that he took. Denzel asked him what made him to change his mind. He said if he doesn't want it, it's fine. He said he wants them and Vince told him he will send him an invoice. He then thanked him. Shady got a job at Laura Lee and she was so excited. Nozzy was so happy for her. Shady said she will be their flatmate soon. Ludo was also happy because they will have to share the ball now. Romeo bumped into Shady and Shady was so excited and asked him why he's so shy and told him that what a job he's taking for a celebration. Romeo said congratulations where they are going. She said he must surprise him. She will be ready at 7 o'clock. Basson visited Connie at her shop and said it's good to see her smiling after what she went through. Connie thanked Basson for helping and said she owes him even Andre. Basson said she will do anything to protect his friends. Connie said she must let her know if she wants something and told him that she cancelled all her bank cards. Basson said he understands and he would have done the same thing. Basson received a call and it was Buddha. He said he mustn't say anything about the escape because he's the one who shot the truck. Basson said he mustn't dare threaten him. Vanessa, Bonita and Eki were at work and they were happy that the competition was a success. Eki said she dropped them. Bonita said she had important things to do. She mustn't worry about it. Eki told them that Vince has given up and he wants to leave Hillside and start over somewhere else. Bonita asked how she feels about that. She said she loves Hillside and her friends. She doesn't want to go and Vince is so down. She doesn't even know what to do but she will have to be strong for him. Romeo told his parents that he is famous now because of Marvin. Even the teachers wanted to see Marvin when he dropped the kids at the school. Ivy said she will have to spoil her mind and cook a lamb. Connie saw them at Figani's shop. Marvin said it's good to see her again. She then thanked him for helping even though she was rude to him and apologized for mocking Marvin. Marvin then received a call from the station commander and told him that he will recommend him so that he can be rehired. Told his family while Connie was there. They were so excited for him. Gabby and Ludo were worried about their jobs and said he feels like he's betraying Vince. The owner came and asked if they still want their job back. 
Luther said he had others, but he will consider. Denzel said he's only interested in Gabby's answer because she's been a waiter for years and she knows her job. Luther said he was just joking. He wants her job back. Gabby said she will have to speak to Vince first. Denzel said it's fine. He will have to wait for her. Barson was at the Heights and saw Chris. Chris asked him if he's deaf because he's not welcomed at his son's flat. Barson said his son lives there. Chris said Sean wants nothing to do with him. And Andre is back in jail. It's only him who's left. Chris also told him that he must leave Hillside. Connie saw that Chris was threatening Barson. She went to them and told Barson that he must come at her boutique. She will make some coffee. Shady and Romeo were out celebrating and they were having some wine. On the other hand, Katie was all alone crying and also drinking some wine. Aki told her husband that she doesn't want to go. Vince said he has lost everything. They need to leave. Connie visited Andre and told that she's been thinking about his proposal and the answer is yes. Andre said she was right. He needs to be free first. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get more episodes on this channel. One of our online channel loves you. Bye, good people.